Have you ever wanted to create a mind map but didn't know where to start? Mind mapping is a great creative tool, but it can be hard to find an app that can do everything that you want it to. And for most of us, pen and paper isn't an option. So in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to Mindomo, a mind mapping app that I believe is the ultimate tool to help you create amazing digital mind maps. Coming up. What's up guys, Michael Aran with Off The Level Up here, helping you write world-class stories better and faster. And I create these videos because I believe that each of you has Stephen King level talent and you just need help unlocking it. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and click that little bell, ding, 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 to get notifications whenever I have a new writing video. And in this writing video, we're talking about Mindomo, the mind mapping app to help you create amazing mind maps. Now, I don't know about some of you, but I, mind mapping is something that I really enjoy doing, but it's hard for me to find the right way to do it. It's a great multi-purpose tool, right? Because you can use it for outlining your novel, you can use it for research, you can use it for working through a problem, you can use it for teaching things, you can use it if you just, you're just struggling with writer's block and you need to get things out on the page. And it's great because seeing different ideas and, and all, all laid out, it helps you create different mental connections between them, which helps you think in different ways. And some people are visual learners and visual doers. So I've learned that if you can visualize a problem, you can solve it. Now I've done mind mapping apps in the past <laughs> and you guys have taken me to task on them because I didn't do them right and uh, I didn't have the right apps. And so I wasn't quite sure that I would do any more mind mapping videos on this channel. But when Mindomo reached out to me and, and they were telling me about the program, I, I kept thinking, wow, this, this actually is what I'm looking for and I know for a fact that it's gonna be what a lot of you <laughs> are looking for. So when they reached out to me, I was smiling ear to ear because I cannot wait to show you guys this program. Now I've partnered with my friends at Mindomo to bring you a way to get six months free of Mindomo. So stick around to the end to watch that. But in the meantime, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so we're here inside Mindomo and I'm gonna show you how everything works, but I wanna list a few caveats first. The first is that this app is extremely feature rich. There are so many, so many features in this app and that is one of the best parts about it. I can't go through all of them in depth for you today. So I'm just going to show you most of them. I'm gonna show you how you would use most of them. The second thing I wanna let you know is that Mindomo is, is, is a browser-based app. So you can use this on any computer that has an internet connection. If you're a Windows user, you can use it. If you're a Mac user, you can use it. If you're using Linux, you can use it as long as you have an internet connection. So don't worry about any, any whether this applies to Windows or whether this applies to Mac. The only thing that's gonna differ is, is the keyboard shortcuts. And the third caveat I wanna talk about today is that I'm showing you Mindomo Premium. So there is a free plan which allows you a limited number of mind maps and a certain amount of exports and, and things like that. There are some limitations. And then there's also the Mindomo Premium plan, which is what I have. So everything you're going to see here today is available under Mindomo Premium. So with those caveats out of the way, I'm going to simply go up here and create a mind map. And this will create a new menu for you. And what you can do next is you have certain options that you can choose. We can choose a blank mind map, which is what we're going to do today. So everything you see here in this blue area, this is what I would call the canvas, all right? This is the space in which we'll be working. Now in our canvas, we have uh, the ability to, if we wanted to uh, change the background. So we'll cover that real quick. So for example, if I right click, and then you have some options here, you can change the background if you want to do that. If I want to change it to red, if I want to change it to green, we're just gonna keep it at the regular. Uh, but then we also have the ability to update patterns if we wanted to do that. So just know that you've got some options available to you if you want to change your background and, and upload your own image if you wanted to do that. All right, and so back to the canvas here, we also have on the bottom right, the ability to zoom in and zoom out. So if I wanted to zoom in, you can zoom in as far as you want and there's no loss of quality. You can zoom out as frequently as you want. And if you want to center everything, you just select that and it goes back to the original configuration. So we're going to build out a mind map. So let's pretend that I'm writing a novel about androids. And I actually have a novel about androids, but we'll, we'll pretend that I'm writing a new one. And I want to do some research for this, but I want to map out all the different things that I need to research before I start writing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and I can rename and type in here this map. And I'm just going to name it Android series, enter. Now, if I hit enter again, 
I can create a child topic or what's known as a main topic. And so in this, let's say that I want to have Androids be one of the main topics. And if I click it, I can kind of drag it around. You can see where the line is there. So I can move it anywhere along the canvas that I want to. And if I hit enter again, I can create another sibling topic. And we'll say that I want that to be about humans. Okay, so those are main topics that are offshoots of our central topic. Now if I hit the tab key, so if I go to Androids and I hit the tab key, I can create what's called a subtopic. So let's say um, for Androids, I want to research their appearance. And if I hit enter again, I can create a same sibling topic. And I also want to talk about singularities. I think that'll be important. And I think I'm going to want to research Android technology. All right. And so if I wanted to, again, I can move these around if I wanted to. If I wanted to change the relationship of this, so say I accidentally wanted to put this under humans, I could do that and just simply drag it around until the red line appears like that. And if I wanted to undo anything, I could simply go up here and choose any of these arrows to undo or redo or just simply hit Command or Control Z, depending on um, what type of computer you're on. So for humans, we'll say I want to research cities and I also want to research biomedicine and nanotechnology all right so these are the these are the things that I want to go off and research now if I go back over here you'll notice if you hover over this or if you click on any one of these you can hover over it and you can see this plus or minus so if I minimize that I can minimize my my subtopics. So you can see there's a little number next to it. And if you click on it, it'll bring it back. So that's pretty neat. Now there's a, a fourth type of topic that I want to show you. So let's say I have a topic that it's not really connected to any of these two, like androids or humans, but it's still something that I want to research. I can right click anywhere on the canvas and I can create what's called a floating topic. And the floating topic will just create be independently of the other topic. So let's say that I want to research the future. And let's say that I made a mistake and I actually, you know, actually I do want this to be connected to this and I want this to be a main topic. Now, as I showed you before, I could simply drag the future node into any of these existing topics on the canvas and that would create a relationship. But what if I wanted to create a special relationship between the future and another topic on the board? So I can do this a couple of ways. I can select Command L or Control L and then, or I could go up here and just click this button here. And then it creates this line and then I can connect it like so. Now the great thing about this as well is you can customize the line and you can drag it however you want to drag it. You can change the color, weight, shape, pattern, all sorts of things of this if you wanted to. So if I wanted this to be a red line just because it's more important, then I had the ability to do that as well. So this is an interesting way to create new relationships and connections between all of your nodes. So I want to show you something else as well. So let's say that you want this to be more like an outline what you can do is you can choose any of the arrows that are choose the arrow that's right above and then go to tools and I'll, I'll show you all of this here in a moment but we'll go to tools and numbering and then we can choose our numbering scheme as we start getting deeper into subtopics what we'll do and I'll show you how this works so see how it created some Roman numerals here and then what I can do is if I hit tab to create a subtopic of that then it creates a nice little 1A. Another great feature is the ability to drill down. So let's say that I, I'm working on Androids for a little while, and I'm, I know I'm going to be working on it for a while, and I don't need the rest of the mind map. If, what I could do is, if I wanted to, I could just zoom in all the way and then kind of manipulate the mind map to make it look like that, or we'll recenter this. I could do what's called a drill down. So if I go over this and I select this and go to Tools, and then go to drill down or hit F6, then what this will do is it will remove the rest of the mind map and allow me to work on this main, main topic in isolation, which is pretty cool. And I can zoom in and kind of do whatever I want. And then up on here on the top bar, if I click this home button, I can go back to the mind map proper. So everything is always neatly organized and saved for you. And this is a really cool feature that will allow you to work independently and focus if you need to do that. 
Now let's talk a little bit about customization. Now the great thing about Mindomo is that you can customize your mind map in any way that you want. And in fact, what I'm going to show you today is really just the basics and it's really just the tip of the iceberg of all the different things that you can do. Let's say if I click this arrow here, there's all sorts of things that I can do. And we'll just go through this menu. If I go over here to the F button, I can kind of change the appearance of this node. So I can bold it, I can italicize it, I can center the text or align the text if I want to. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can change the size of the font this way as well. I can change the color of the node and the color of the text if I wanted to do that. So we'll just kind of go back to the defaults. But just to let you know that you can do that, I can enter my own, uh, enter my own color code in there. I could also, if I click on this button, I can go and change the look out of the topic if I wanted to do that. So that's pretty neat. And then if I wanted to, I can also influence it in other ways. And another really great thing about this is if I click on this org chart here, I can change the layout of the lines. So if I click that, you'll see it, it starts kind of moving things all over the place here, which is kind of cool and you can't really see a whole lot of this. So I'll go to this one and I'll, uh, I'll do that again. So you can change the layout of your mind map just by going to here and kind of clicking things around. And the great thing is that it, it neatly organizes everything for you. So you don't have to worry so much about your mind map looking bad because it's always going to look good. So I, I think I like that configuration. So we'll, cent we'll center this again. And let's say we'll go back to this here. Uh, we'll go back to this one here. So what we can do is we can also change the shape of any of your nodes. And you can do this on any of your, any of your nodes or your topics. So you can do that. Um, and then you can even create all kinds of neat shapes. So moving back through this menu here, if I go back to this hamburger topic, one of the great things about Mindomo is the ability to uh, be really interactive and be thoughtful about what you do with your your notes. So for example, if I click this little comment bar here, I can create comments. So Mindomo allows you to collaborate with other people that have Mindomo. So if I'm collaborating with another writer, for example, I can make comments on my, my different notes. So let's say, for example, and I can add a comment just like that. And you'll see here that a, com a nice little comment appears right next to the node. So that's something that you have the ability to do. So we can also assign topics to other people if I were using this as a collaboration tool. So if I go here and then I click on this little person icon, if there were multiple collaborators, you could assign them to multiple people. That could be very useful for some of you watching. You also have the ability to do due dates. So if I click this little calendar icon here, I can create a start date and an end date if I wanted to. So let's say it's June 19th today. I want to finish this by tomorrow. And what it does when you click that is it creates a nice little to-do list there, which is great. But if I click out of here, it also puts the date right next to it. Now, if I go back into this, and I can also do a start date, and I'll have a date today, and I go back, it creates a nice little start date. Or a date range right next to it. So that's a great thing. And then if I, when I'm done with this task, I can just simply click it and then it goes away. But then the question is, well, where did it go? If you go back to your human subtopic and then you select this here, it'll show you the completed tasks. So what I'm going to do is just simply can command Z. We'll bring that back and leave that there for you to see. And we're going to move down the menu on the left and show you how all these different features work. So Let's say, if I'll we'll click on nanotechnology, for example. Let's say I want to create some notes. So if I go to this here, I can add notes to a particular topic. So maybe I want to be sure to research Wikipedia, and then I, I need to go to the library to pick up this book that I, I really liked on it. And then you can format that however you choose to your heart's desire. Now I'll click the X here, and then a little hamburger menu appears right next to the menu and, and see if you hover over it, you can see what your notes are, which is a great tool. And let's say, we'll zoom in just a little bit. Let's say that I want to add a link to this as well. I found something on the internet that I liked, you know, so I can, we'll click on this and then select the hyperlink attachment 
and we'll just enter my website, authorlevelup.com, if I wanted to. And then you'll see that a nice little link appears right here. And if I were to click on that, it would open up the link in a new tab. Now, I could also add images if I wanted to. So let's say I can insert a URL if I have that. But there's a nice feature where you can search images on the web. So let's say, you know, I'm researching cities. And I want to look at Paris, France. I think that'll be a great setting for, for my novel. So I can kind of select an image, and then it just pops right there into, into the node, which I think is great. And then if I wanted to attach an image, I could do that as well. And then you also have the ability to, with um, uh, Mindomo to insert some icons that are kind of pre-made for you if that's something that works for you as well. Now moving on down the line here, we'll add biomedicine. Let's, you could add icons. So if I click this little smiley face here, I can add some icons. And these are a little bit different. The different You're probably thinking, well, what's the difference between adding one of those pictures and adding an icon? The icons are searchable, so you can filter by your icons later if you wanted to do that. So let's just say maybe I, you know, I don't want to do anything with biomedicine in the novel. So I'm going to give that a thumbs down. All right, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. And then if I wanted to, I could also add videos to a topic. So let's say, you know, I, I, I'm doing some research and I, I, I find some videos that I want to do on nanotechnology. I can upload a video or I could link to a video, but a great thing that I could do is I can also search for YouTube. So let's say I'm, I'm watching videos on YouTube and then I, I've got this really cool video on how nanotechnology works. So then I can just click it and boom, it appears right there. And then if I click this play button, it will actually play the video. And, yeah. and, then, and then you can make that full screen if you wanted to do that. And it also supports Vimeo, which is great. Now, another great feature about Mindomo is that you also have the ability to dictate notes or add audio recordings. So let's say, for example, that you know, I'm working on my mind map and I, I, I want to make a mental note to myself to remember later. Maybe I'm not a notes person. I don't like to type in notes, but maybe I need to just record something. Well, you can do that by inserting a URL or just simply by uploading a recording, but you can also dictate directly into Mindomo. So if I click this little microphone button and then click record, I can actually just start talking and it will actually dictate things into Mindomo. Now, moving down the, the list here, we have the ability to do what's called Mindomo bookmarks if we click on this little light bulb here. Now, Mindomo bookmarks is a lot like the uh, Evernote Web Clipper, if you think about that. You can install this extension, and it works in any browser, uh, Chrome, Safari, you name it, it. There's probably an extension for it. You can download the Mind Map app or extension for your browser, and then when you come across something that you like, you can just simply click the little extension button, and it'll import it into Mindomo for you. So for example, let's say that I am doing some research, and I just come across the Android Wikipedia page, and I think that this is so informative. So what I'm going to do is just go up here, and I'm going to click the Mindomo bookmark button. And you just wait there, and it sends the text over to it. And then I'll go back to Mindomo, and I'll refresh my mind map. And then if I go back to the bookmarks tab, you'll see that this appears here, which is great. So then what I can do is if I, just, I can click this and it'll launch me back to the website, which is great. Um, but I could also add this as a subtopic if I wanted to. And so, and then it adds it and then it adds the link like there. So this is a great tool if you're doing research and you just really want to, you know, maybe you're researching things quickly and, and you don't necessarily have time to dig into something. Um, you can add it there and it'll be there for you later. I can also download my mind map. So I want to spend some time on this. Now keep in mind that what you see here is going to depend on your plan. So I'm using the premium plan, so I have access to the full gamut here. But you can export in a number of different formats. So, so there's some standardized mind map formats. Um, there's some different Excel formats that you can format into, which is great. Um, there's PDFs, which is probably what most people will be using. But you can even export this into a Word doc or a PowerPoint, um, HTML. And it looks great. So I'll download the PDF and I'll show you what this looks like. So this is the PDF. It just opened up in my browser, but it, it looks great, right? It looks exactly as I intended it. Now, one of the things that will also do is it will export your notes as well. So remember when I put that note in for nanotechnology, it will also export that for me too. Now, another great thing about this is the search feature. It's very robust. So if I click this little magnifying glass here, you'll see that I can search by different things. So 
let's say I want to search for uh, all instances of the word Android. And it has a nice guided search feature. So I hit enter and then um, if I use these little arrows here, it will actually guide me through the mind map of all the different uh, instances of that search. So if I click this little X here to delete everything, I can also search if I want it to by or filter my task by due date. So let's say I want to know all tasks that are going to be due tomorrow. Just click that and it filters it for you. Uh, X that out and I can also filter by symbol, which is great. So I, I, I put that little uh, thumbs down photo or icon on there. I can select that and it will do that. So icons can be a great way to filter and uh, categorize your tasks as well. So now let's talk about sharing. So you, the great thing about Mindomo is that you can share your mind map with anyone. So if I click this share button, uh, I'll have a bunch of different options available to me. And the great thing here is that you can share your mind maps with people that don't have Mindomo accounts. Here's where we can start changing some permissions. And if you've ever used Google Drive, then this will look very familiar to you. If I wanted to, for example, um, change this so that anyone with a link can view it. We'll save that here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up in another window. All right, so this is what it would look like for someone who does not have a Mindomo account. So it, because this is a browser-based program, it's going to look exactly the same, which is one of the great benefits of this. I mean, this is just this is just incredible technology, right? So I can kind of move things around. I can zoom in and zoom out if I wanted to. I can recenter the mind map. It's just really easy to use. You can also click this little eye here and you can print or you could download as a PDF or you could download as an image so that the people that you share it with have the ability to um, export and share it. Now, I do believe that you do have to have a Mindomo account in order to export, um, but small price to pay, right? But they can also search as well. So if I want to search, same search feature, right? It guides them through it. So that's a great, great feature. And it's, this is just great functionality overall. Now you're probably thinking, Michael, this app looks great, but you know, how much does it actually cost? Well, I'm very glad you asked that question. So here is the pricing plans for Mindomo. So first thing I want to remind you is that anyone can sign up for a Mindomo account for free. And you, that, that allows you up to three mind maps. And there's some other limitations as well. But, but it, Mindomo free doesn't cost you a thing. If you want to be able to do all the things that I showed you today, you want unlimited mind maps, you want unlimited task maps, uh, you want some storage options, you want to be able to embed video and audio into your mind maps. I know a lot of you are going to like that. And you want to be able to export into all the formats uh, that are available to you, then the premium plan is probably the one you're going to want to go with. And that is $36 every six months, and that allows one user, right? Um, again, that's what most of you are going to be using. This is by far one of the best browser-based apps I've ever used. In fact, there are so many things that Mindomo does that I didn't even know a browser-based app can do. Um, it, it, it's fantastic. One of the top three apps I've ever used in my career. Um, I personally am using uh, and buying the premium plan and I will be a customer for a very long time with my Domo because this really helps me work out problems, plan things, um, and there's just not a, a, a mind mapping app that comes anywhere near this in my opinion. And I've used a lot of them. <laughs> I've used a lot of these apps and I hope that all of you can see this This is the real deal. <laughs> the Mindomo team, they get it. They have thought of everything with this app. Uh, there's there's no stone that they've left unturned. Um, and I don't know what more features they could put in it because there's so many great <laughs> things here. All of the plans, all of the paid plans come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you, you, you cancel within 30 days or you're not completely satisfied. They're going to give you your money back, no questions asked. And from all the interactions I've had with the Mindomo team, uh, the support is fantastic. Um, the help center is great. Very rarely are you going to come across a problem that, that you're you're probably going to even need to contact the support team anyway. But if you did, you, you know that you've, you've got some grade A um, folks that will help you with any problem that you have. I hope you guys can see why I love Mindomo so much. And quite frankly, I didn't even get into all of the features <laughs> that the app has. Uh, I didn't. There's some features in there that were fantastic that I didn't show you, like presentation mode, outline mode, Gantt charts, some of the templates. Uh, you just have to see it for yourself to believe it. Now, don't forget that you can sign up for a free account. doesn't cost you anything at mindomo.com.
All right, so let's talk about this giveaway. It's gonna go fast and it's gonna be over before you know it. So I've partnered with my friends at Mindomo to give away six free six month licenses to Mindomo Premium. So everything I showed you today, you get access to Mindomo Premium for six months. Six of you are going to get that prize. So here's how to do it. Check the link in the video description for a page to my site that has a giveaway. The giveaway is the only way that you will be able to enter. Um, so check that link. It's gonna be open for 48 hours. So after 48 hours, I'm bringing the giveaway piece down and uh, we'll, we'll bring it down and we'll let the winners know and uh, we'll put you in contact with the Mindomo team so you can get your prize. Now, this is a thank you for, to all of you for being a subscriber to my channel. You have to be subscribed in order to get it, which is why I'm only offering this for 48 hours. I wanna give a huge thank you to the team at Mindomo for reaching out to me, providing me access with the app, and for this amazing giveaway. So if this is your first time watching, be sure to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.